happened to you in the past. Game Freak presents A boy on a bicycle who finds a giant flying blue thing. And then monsters fly out of nowhere. And then they come out of little tiny balls. And Sharpedo uses bullet seed and mud kick. And that is Pokemon Ruby, which is the game I will be playing alongside Ponder the Angel, a.k.a. Jonah. And, uh, this is a... No, I started earlier, but it came out bad, so I'm gonna start over again. So, we're starting a new game. Choose here to greet us, but this wonderful man, doesn't he look so friendly. I've been here before, thank you. Birch. Professor Birch. Yes, that is a Pokemon. Yup. Friendly playmates, cooperative workmates. Sounds like school or something. Others like us. Hmm. Such as why you professors don't tell us all of them. We really need to collaborate more. Anyway, um, Professor Birch aside, let's talk about me, because I'm pretty awesome. I am a boy, and I am proud. And my name is not any of those, but it is Parker. And I know people will wonder how the heck I get Death the Haunter out of Parker. Um, and the answer is, that was my imaginary friend as a child. Okay, maybe I should mention that to my therapist sometime, but that's another story. Yes, my name is Parker. Ah, okay, you're Parker who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. Okay, I'm moving. Okay. I can deal with that. Courage. I need so much courage to do this. And here I am in a moving van. When the game first came out, th this was... I forget if it was this or Sapphire. It was definitely one of those, and I think it was Ruby. Um, and of course this was the opening scene. And I really, really wanted to, like, ride in the back of a moving van. But never happened, because my mom isn't as nice as this mom. Oh, well. Yes, this is Little Root Town. I have to admit, if I could leave, live in the Pokemon world, I'd probably live somewhere in the Hoenn region. Hello, Machoke. I find it so weird that the dad, which basically no other Pokemon player character has a dad, buys a clock? I mean, I mean, to mark the move here, you'd think the house does that on its own. Anyway, hello Machoke. Thanks for moving our stuff. Hello other Machoke. Are you trying to crush my face with boxes? Not very nice, Machoke. Clock! Internal battery is dead, so I don't care. This is totally the right time. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't it be weird if things weren't neat in this room? I mean, you just moved in. I haven't had time to get things messy. Whereas, I have a bunch of seltzer water cans and undone laundry sitting in my room. 
Anyway, since I've been preparing for my Pokemon journey all this time, I have a potion. I know you're all so impressed. And... I don't think I have any mail, and I definitely don't have any of these. These are fun. Anyway, here's a nice little map and a nice little instruction booklet. This is a map. Instruction booklet just tells you how to save. And a GameCube with a GBA, I believe. Yep, GBA. And television that isn't on. And, of course, the clock. I still don't like the clock. Hi, there's purple dots on the corners of our television, Mom. Great. You should have at least seen him. You were standing next to the TV. As a matter of fact, he owns all of the other property in the town. And just to make things faster, I'll just move faster. Yeah! Hi, rival, you must be Jonah, because you're my rival in making a Ruby playthrough. Jonah, you know me. Yes. I didn't actually move Jonah. No, you're Jonah. That's in addition to the music stuff, right? Your dad is Professor Birch. We're already friends. No, we met each other over a month ago. Okay. See you later, Jonah. I'll be waiting for your next video. Okay. I always love this guy. There's always, um, like, the fat NPC in the south part of the starting town. And he always talks about how wonderful the, um, PCs in the Pokemon Center are. It's pretty cool. Anyway, here's the kid in the blue hair. And glasses. Now, if you're ever really in this situation where you've found yourself in a place where you can't proceed but think someone is in trouble, you should really get an adult. But, because this is Pokemon, I'll just go and do it for you. Hello, Professor Birch. You should know me, you already greeted me. That was the whole function of the intro. Okay, Torchic, that's what Jonah has. Mudkit, everyone loves Mudkit. But, I have one that I like more, and that is Trico. I love Trico. Favorite starters. Pochiana! Hello, Trico. Nice to meet you. You have a lax nature. Anyway, now just hit this in the head with your tail, and all should be good. What did I tell you? Really easy, don't you think? Oh, and, um, in case anyone is wondering how I speed through things, that's a feature of Visual Boy Advance. Um, I just set it to the shift key, which is right next to the keys you press for A and B. So, it's really convenient. So, Parker. I didn't know our dads knew each other, Jonah. Okay, your dad is giving me a Pokemon, isn't he? Yes! Thank you, Jonah's dad. Now, because of the nature I feel like I can do this, I'm going to name this Trico Marcus. And that is because my Latin textbook has a character named Marcus. And that character just sits around in taverns all day drinking wine. And I think that's appropriate for a lax natured grass type. Alright, hello Marcus. I will make a darn good trainer. So sure, I'll go see Jonah. Okay, I get to go see Jonah.
Pokemon aren't a oh, there's one. Marcus hit it in the head with your tail. I wonder if Romans had like tavern fights, kind of like a bar fight, but in a tavern. I mean, you figure they must have, I mean they were Romans. Because of that I need to Oh, this is a house. Never check the house in Odale Town. Old Dale Town. Old Dale. Roman Tavern. Yeah. Fun. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could go pretty far with a pretty weak Pokemon if you didn't get any fights. But what I meant to do was go see this person who gives me a bloody item. Now I have two potions. I want to check this house. What do you say? You walk away from me. All of this basic information. This guy! I hate this guy! It's like, okay, this game is copyrighted 2003, you should have a cell phone that takes pictures. You should not have to sketch them. I mean, do you think, like, they're Walt's footprints or something? Because that that might be worth it, but at the same time. Anyway, um, did I go to the Pokemon Center? I don't think I did, so I'm gonna go do that. No, no, stop. This takes a while to get used to. Woohoo! Guy in a mustache! Doors. Oh, I can help you with that, Jenna. There's Zigzagoon and Poochiana. And I think you can find Wingull. But that might just be an emerald, which I suppose you would call the future in this setting. Sorry, did I freak you out? Is that seriously your dad, Jonah? I hope that's not your dad. Alright. Alright, Marcus. What I'm gonna do here is use Leer until I'm in... I'm at low health, at which point I'll heal using a potion, and then my hits will do insane amounts of damage. See that? See that? Two hits. Absorb and up to level seven. That was a good first trainer battle. Thanks for leveling my Pokemon up, Jonah. Oh, and I'm pretty sure that battle gives you 69 experience points, which Marcus from the textbook would like very much, I'm sure. I wonder if that was intentional. I mean, I'm pretty sure in Platinum there's one um, evil team executive that has a Pokemon that gives you 666 ex experience points. So I thought that was a clever little thing, but it could be entirely coincidental. It's hard to know. You didn't have to tell me again, Jonah. Well, when did that kid get there? Was that kid there before? When does he spend time at home, Jonah? Woo! Jonah. 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 Do you have extensive history as a trainer? I mean, you have a little- you have a level 5 Torchic. Come on. Pokedex! I don't want the Pokedex. I mean, if someone actually asked me, will you go get data on all the Pokemon for me, I'd be like, no. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's so much work. I don't even think it's possible. And here are some P-O-K accent E balls. Which, whoever makes the first comment saying, who says that, uh, in the game, We'll get an honorable mention in the next game. And next we'll just get one more thing. Hi, Mom. I don't even go over to her. I wait for her to get to me. 
Now, this is always a weird thing. Like, imagine if someone told you to press the B button for something to happen, you'd be like, what? Just, look. Did you just tell me to press the B button? That's a bit weird. Anyway, now I can run even less accurately. To demonstrate, let's try and go into Jonah's house. Oh, wait, that's not with the running shoes. Running shoes and shift key. Nah. What? <laughs> this is fun. But at the same time, I'm right. If I actually wanted to get in there, I'd be really frustrated. Anyway. Um, I think there's still a decent amount of time, so I'm gonna go try and catch a Pokemon. That's a Wurmple. I don't want a Wurmple. Marcus can squash all the little bugs with his political power. I'm tired of Wurmple. I'm going to Fruit 103 because that doesn't have Wurmple, as I demonstrated my knowledge earlier. Eh, Zigzagoon. Eh. Wingull! I was right! Let's try and catch a Wingull. He's absorbed, Marcus. That should do it. Okay, this looks good. Yeah, I'm at full health, the Wingle's low health, I can just throw a Pokeball and get this done with. The anxiety is killing me. Really? I'm actually quite impressed. Anyway, just try it again. This is a stubborn wingle. There we go. Wingle has the habit of carrying prey and valuables in its beak, hiding them in all sorts of locations. So it's steals stuff and then makes it so no one can ever get it. Fun! Ooh, second page. This Pokemon rides the winds and flies as if it were skating across the sky. Hmm. I give nicknames to everything. Give me a second to think on this one. Okay, so I decided to go with the whole Roman name theme. So, this will be... Undine? Let me just check the spelling on that. That is in fact how I meant to spell it, and that's good. And it makes sense because the root word for this is the Latin word for wave. And this is a water type. Okay, so... In the time where the video is off, I will... Um, probably get Undine up to level 7, just so she's on an equal level with Marcus. And then we can proceed to Route 102. Um, again, remember that whoever gets the first comment saying who the uh, character, which character says P-O-K accent E ball. Alright, saving the game, and I will see you next time. Oh wow, that, that was long. Oh wait, it wasn't actually that long. Because of this. I will see you all next time. Thank you very much.